everybody, Dean Giles here, and thanks for checking out this video on basic hand technique for the drummer. We're going to look at the two real basic techniques, and that is matched grip and traditional grip. And since most of us are probably right-handed, no offense to you lefties out there, we're going to start with the right hand. And of course, if you are left-handed and you play left-handed on the drum set, then you're going to start with your left hand. But I'm going to start with my right hand, and it's going to be a really, really simple grip. But one of the first things we need to find out is where to actually hold the stick, where to actually grab onto the stick. Uh, the stick is going to act like a seesaw or a lever in our hand with a pivot point somewhere near the middle of the stick. Okay, So we want to find that pivot point or that balance point of the stick. And the way to do that is just to basically uh, sit the stick on your drum pad or on your snare drum and we're going to see how many bounces we can get out of the stick as we let it fall onto the pad. So here we go. I'm just going to let the stick fall onto the pad and it bounces for us. Now you want to make sure that you're not up too high or obviously down too low here. We just have a slight angle off the pad and we're just going to lift it up, let it bounce. Now, if I move back too far on the stick, you'll notice that the stick won't bounce very much. It just kind of sits there when I drop it down. So, you want to move up a little bit more. I'm going to move up a little bit more and see if I get some more bounces. A little bit more. It's a little bit better. I'm going to keep moving up a little bit. And now I'm getting a few more bounces there. Okay, good. I'm going to keep moving up. That was pretty good. I got some more bounces there. Now, if I move up too far, you'll notice that the front of the stick kind of gets a little bit too light in a way. We have too much uh, of the back end of the stick behind the pivot point, or what's called the fulcrum point. So we have too much stuff back here, and now the front of the stick is going to seem kind of too light, and I'm not going to get many bounces, and if I do, they're not going to be very strong bounces either. You can see that it's really not doing much there. So I'm going to move back to my point where I felt like I had a pretty decent number of bounces. And that's the point at which I'm going to hold the stick between my thumb and index finger. So you'll see that my thumb is pointing up toward the top of the stick and the index finger is just wrapped around the front here and my thumb and the first knuckle of my index finger are exactly opposite each other. You want to make sure you have it that way because if you have your finger up here and your thumb back here, if you go to grip the stick, obviously it's going to move on you. So you want to be exactly across the knuckle of your index finger and your thumbnail and the thumb points toward the top of the stick and there's kind of the basic grip and I've got this in my fulcrum point or my pivot point. Now notice that it's really not in the middle of the stick. It's back of the middle of the stick. So there's my spot and that's where I'm going to hold the stick. And my rest, the rest of my fingers are just going to wrap along the stick like this right in order of the index finger. Now I'm just going to take my hand and put it straight down on the pad with my palm down toward the floor and my hand on top of the stick. Notice now that my thumb is inside and facing toward my left. The palm is straight down. And I've created kind of half of a V with the right hand here. The stick is almost an extension of the forearm coming straight down like this. You also want to make sure that the back end of the stick is outside of your forearm. You don't want it underneath your wrist here like this. When you go to bend your wrist, it will get all caught up in here. So we're going to push it just slightly outside. We really want the stick to be an extension of the forearm like this, but because of the fact that when we bend the wrist, it could get caught in here, we're just going to tuck it to the outside just enough so when we do bend the wrist, that stick is on the outside. Okay, Make sure that the end of your stick is not inside in here. You want to make, it, make sure that it's outside. I'm going to grab my other stick here so that I can show you what match grip is. And match grip is basically both hands matched or both hands 
holding the stick in the same way. So the right hand and the left hand holding the stick in the exact same way and I'm making a V in the middle of the drum. Okay, so there you go. There's the basic matched grip. Traditional grip is a change in the left hand. And this was actually originally how the drumsticks were held, and that's why it's called traditional grip, because traditionally this is how the drummers held the sticks. And the left hand, in this case, instead of being on top of the stick, was underneath the stick. And the stick was held really in the base of the thumb. Make sure you can see that in the video. In the base of the thumb, this way. So my pivot point, instead of being between my index finger and thumb out here, away from my hand, is really kind of deep in to the base of the thumb. And this is my pivot point now, here with the stick. Now notice that I'm keeping my hand and my forearm in a line. I'm not bending like this or out like that. This is nicely in a line just like that. And I'm going to almost have a right angle of my arm to the stick and into the pad. We're going to move it out just a little bit so that we can create that V, which is going to be the same. And now with my left hand, I'm going to put two fingers under the stick and then two fingers over and really what happens is the stick ends up lying just above the nail of the third finger or what we would call the ring finger just above that nail or right on the nail of the third finger two fingers up two fingers under and make sure you're keeping your wrist straight to your forearm no bending in here or out here like that nice and even there so this is what we would call traditional grip with the left hand basically kind of under the stick, the right hand on top of the stick. So you'll see a lot of people playing traditional grip and you'll see a lot of people playing matched grip this way. But just remember that it was the left hand that changed with going from, originally going from traditional grip this way to matched grip like this. Now the reason why drummers originally played this way with the left hand under the stick was because of the angle of the side drums or the snare drums when they had the drums on a strap around their back and neck and it would lean on the leg. So when this happened the drums would be at an angle like this. So it was easier for the drummers to just play this way because the stick now more approximated the angle of the drum. And also, if your drum, if you're going to play that way with your drum angle this way, it's better to have your hand under the stick than over it because if you have to approximate the angle with your hand on top of the stick, you can see what it does to my elbow and shoulder. I end up having to hold this all up in the air, which is not going to be comfortable for a very long period of time. So it's easier to kind of move the hand underneath the stick and now the stick is at the angle of the drum when it was played that way uh, back in the day with just the strap around the drum. Nowadays we have all kinds of drum stands and mounting systems so that we can angle our drums any way we want them you know, to be. So a lot of times you will see people now moving to mash grip, but some people like to play traditional grip because you know it was traditional and maybe they grew up playing that way and it just feels more comfortable for them to play that way. So there's a kind of basic look at the grips the matched grip, both hands the same, the traditional grip with the left hand under the stick. Remember that uh, we're holding uh, in the pretty much the first knuckle of the index finger on the right hand or on the left hand if we're playing matched grip, and the thumb. The thumb points toward the tip of the stick, and in the left hand, if you're playing traditional, it's down toward the base of the thumb. Now, I do want to say one more thing before we go, and that is you're going to see a lot of different techniques and grips out there. And I encourage you to go out and check them all out. See which ones really feel the most comfortable for you. See what you like to use the best. Maybe you like to uh, investigate 
four or five different grips or different ways of holding the stick and you can use them at different times for different ways of playing and uh, incorporate all of those into your playing style. And I think that's great. Go out there and find all the different ways that people hold the sticks and experiment and find the ones that really work best for your playing style. I do think, however, though, for beginning students, if you're going to start out playing match grip, that having the palms down, making a V, and holding the sticks between the index finger and thumb is really a great way just to get started playing. So enjoy and get to practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.